he, he massaged the hose. He massaged the hose just a little bit. One, bugger. Okay. All right, ready? ready. Got him. Don't pay attention when you cross. Okay. Stop right there. Okay. Both sides. Is Anything open? coming? All right, go, honey. You... Ice cream. No, stay. Uh, uh get back here. Okay. Back up, baby. You're on the curb, sweetie. Back up. I don't have cash on me, honey. Ice cream man! Alright, go. Ice cream. No, ice Thanks, cream. What do you like about soccer, Lucy? That you can kick, kick the ball around. You can kick the ball around. That's my favorite part. You like it because you can move around and play? Yeah. With, do you like playing with you do you like playing with the other kids? Yeah. Yeah. And mama? Hmm? Um, I was just wondering if when we get back home, I was, um, can we, can, can I, can I have a little bit, can I have a tiny little bit snack? We'll see. Okay. We gotta go home, we gotta put you in the shower, and then maybe after that word, okay? Okay. Oops. Well. Let's find it. This is gonna last maybe about an hour. She needs knee pads, and I'm going to pick some up probably probably tomorrow. They're really inexpensive. Walmart, eight bucks. Um, now Lucy's depth perception is really off. It's a sensory issue, and I don't know how many other people have autistic kids with a very bad depth perception, but hers is really bad. However, she is one of the fastest kids here, and she can kick a ball at nobody's business, and she's also very good at blocking. So she has all those three things working for her, and she knows how how to make um, I don't want to say disability, but she knows how to make the autism work for her and not up against her, because she can pick out patterns and puzzles. So she's really good at you know following where the ball goes and how to block it, and it's really interesting. I wanted to get a shot of them playing. I don't know the stipulations behind filming an entire group of kids when you're just trying to watch your own kid, but. This, we're gonna be here a while and I'm sitting on the ground people have chairs and they bring food it's, it's like a giant party for the parents I'm not even kidding like they come out here to socialize and eat pizza and to drink coffee or whatever and I don't know how many of them actually pay attention to their kids but I keep forgetting to bring my chair out here we have some at home and I just never remember to bring it I'm just sitting on the sitting on the grass I'm not afraid of grass I'm not afraid of getting dirty um, probably have grass stains all over my derriere later that's okay
Are you okay, honey? Yeah. Uh, just really hot. Yes, and itchy. And itchy. Do you well, have a mosquito repellent? Not on me, but we're gonna go home and I'm gonna get you in the shower, okay? Well, what about my stuff for soccer? What your your what? knee pads? Yeah. I can I can grab some tomorrow. But the coach said that we have to bring our knee. If we don't bring our knee pads till Saturday, I mean to till Friday, then honey, I tomorrow's, won't be able to, tomorrow's Thursday. Then I won't be able to play the you, game. You have them before Friday. Tomorrow's Thursday, baby. Remember, you have them tomorrow. Okay. Ready to go home? Okay. So welcome to Thursday. I was going to upload all my footage from yesterday, but everybody was just so tired and exhausted that it, I just never made it. <laughs> I never made it. I was crawling and crawling and trying to make it, and I never made it. So welcome to Thursday. I have my coffee going on, little Irish cream. Um, I have to take the kids to school. Then I have to go get my background check done for Jaina's middle school because I'm a volunteer parent and then I have to go to that middle school um, PTA slash volunteer parent meeting tonight. So I have a couple things to do today, but it is my day off, so I'm going to try and enjoy it just a little bit. Are you going to have room? I don't know. Maybe I don't know. I'm trying to fit this huge honking trombone in the freaking car. Eh. Let's, if you don't have room, we can probably put it in the trunk. <gasps> And then just open the trunk when you get to school. Jaina, it's not going to work, honey. Yes, it will. All right, put it in the Jaina. Trunk. No. You can't buckle your seatbelt like that. Yes, I will. Try I, No, I can just buckle myself and hold it after I buckle Jaina. I can't. Jaina. Jaina, are you buckled? <laughs> Where's your seatbelt? Oh, okay. Well. I got it. <laughs> child of mine. I can't take like a little hidey hole. Jaina. <laughs> so, you guys, I have not gotten anything that I wanted to get done today accomplished. I have spent the latter part of my morning figuring out what the hell was wrong with my car. Big, big thank you to my daughter Kara and her husband Jeffrey for helping me today, this morning, when I thought I was going to totally lose my car. I have no idea what happened. I went to go get my car washed and get it vacuumed out and on the way back it started to kind of steam a little bit and I noticed my thermostat was way high and the light came on so it was getting overheated very fast. So I drove to my mom's house because my mom was really close to where I was driving so I got off the road. By the way, backstory, I've had this happen before and I blew a head gasket. So, I have lost a car prior to what I have now. Head gasket completely warped, completely cracked, gone, okay? I had to uh, pay a company to come junk this car for me, okay? Um, so anytime lights come on in my car, I literally freak the freak out, okay? At full blown anxiety meltdown. So I have to get off the road and figure out what's wrong with my car. So I put up to my mom's house. She calls my son-in-law to come help me and he you know looks at my car figures out it's just the coolant I just need more coolant and that's it or so we thought um, I drive back home to let my car cool down just a little bit and it jacks back up and between my house and my mom's house it's not even maybe a mile so it maybe five minutes like a five minute drive right so between my mom's house and my house my car starts smoking again. So I get back home, I call up my son-in-law and be like, hey, this is going on, I don't know what to do, can you please help? He said, yeah, sure, no problem. So he and my daughter both come over, he adds more coolant to my car, and we figured out that, well, he figured out that my, um, he figured out that my coolant reserve and my radiator, the hose that connects um, those two parts, was clogged so he massaged it he, he massaged the hose he massaged the hose just a little bit and unclogged the hose and the the liquid started flowing back and forth so we drove the car around for a little bit 
and it was fine. My car has been working fine ever since. But this was very time consuming, okay? Um, but, however, even though I didn't get anything I wanted to get done today, I did manage to squeeze in lunch with my husband, which is always a plus. And we just kind of, you know, took our time with lunch and just kind of spent some time to, we just spent some time with one another because we just really don't get a lot of time to do that. So, boo for the car. Yay, because it's not as bad as we thought it was. So, I didn't get to throw down in Walmart like I wanted to. All the kids were in school. I had the day off. I wanted to go party at Walmart and grab some shin guards and knee pads for Lucy's soccer practice. I wanted to get a thousand things done. I wanted to go birthday hunting for Jaina because her birthday is coming up really soon. I had all of this planned out. I was going to go party. I was going to go throw down. I was going to go tear it up at Walmart. Nothing happened. Nope, it didn't happen that way. And I still have to go to Jaina's PTA meeting today. Whew. That's a little bit later. And I'm really tired. I'm really exhausted. But I still have a few things to do. So I just left um, Jaina's parent volunteer PTA meeting thing. Um, it went pretty well. I met a fellow autism mom who needed help getting referrals to pediatricians and therapists. And she was asking how school, how, uh, she was asking how good the schools were around here when it comes to special needs kids. And they're pretty good. I haven't had too many complaints. Um, of course, I mean, you don't want any complaints, but um, you really have to pick your battles especially when uh, a lot of schools are way worse than ours but I wouldn't change their school I wouldn't change the schools here at all um, my kids as IEPs are followed to the T uh, we have some of the, the best therapists in the county actually so and some of the best elementary schools in the state so um, I'm I'm satisfied with the schools here um, it was really nice to talk to somebody about their kids and that that's partially what I do here I show you guys um, what autism really is on a day-to-day -day basis I mean it's not your stereotypical um, rain man scenario every day it's not your typical um, nonverbal day every day I mean Lucy does have her smart um, days don't get me wrong <laughs> but it, it's I don't think film and TV portray autism the way it actually is and that's what I try to do to portray it, what it actually is um I'm gonna go ahead and get my butt home I'm tired I'm really tired my husband has an appointment tomorrow and then I have to work a long shift tomorrow and then Aunt Lucy also has soccer tomorrow and I have her shin guards too by the way um so everybody's busy tomorrow so I will see you guys soon hope you guys are having an awesome evening bye